welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I have my recent faves and fails to share with you. And I have quite a few, so why don't we just go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, so the first thing that I have really been enjoying lately is called the Shikai. This is the bamboo scrub in the coconut scent, and this is a body scrub. I had actually received the lavender scent of this in a Kinder Beauty box back, I think it was in February, and I was enjoying that one so much that I'm getting low and decided to see if I could get another bottle. So they sell this on Amazon, it's very reasonably priced, and they had a lot of different fragrance choices, and I picked the coconut, and I love it, it smells very beachy. So I think this is a great body scrub to use before you self tan. That is what I have been using because it's got the little granules in it, but it also has alpha hydroxy acid. So it is exfoliating like two ways. And I love it because it, for one, you don't get all that like sandy grit in the bottom of your shower when you rinse this off and it's not slippery. It does not leave your shower slippery but it doesn't dry my skin out either. So after I have used this, it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight and dry. So this is my step that I use on the days that I'm going to use self tanner. I use this in the shower. I've really been enjoying it and I'm excited to try the coconut scent because like I said, I'm still finishing up the lavender one. But if you're looking for a body scrub, I've really been enjoying this Shikai bamboo scrub. Since I was just telling you what I do before self tanning, why don't I share with you a self tanner that I'm kind of, I guess I'm considering this a fail and I'll explain why. This is the Ulta Beauty, the Express Self Tan Tinted Mousse in Light to Medium. And up until trying this self tanner, I have never used one that was tinted with like a color guide for when you were applying it. I've always used like a lotion that just was white for a self tanner, that type of thing. And this does have the color guide in here. And that is where I'm calling this a fail, is that the color guide in this for light to medium, one, it's very dark. This is my mitt and you can see this. So this shade is light to medium and look how dark it is on my little application mitt. It's pretty dark. So it comes out kind of dark and my problem with this self tanner is that the color guide is really streaky and hard to blend in. I feel like after I put this on, I was very worried how the tan was gonna look because I just couldn't seem to get this rubbed in evenly with that guide color. Well, I will tell you that after you rinse off the guide color, the tan underneath is actually very nice. It was very even and it was a really pretty color on me, but for some reason this guide color is just really hard to blend. So I am gonna try to use it up because like I said, once that you wash that away, the, the selfless tan color is very nice and that seems to last for probably like three or four days on me. It keeps me a nice color. Another downside of this self tanner is that it definitely has that self tanner odor. It's just got that, that funky self tanner smell. It's not it, the least bit scented to try to cover that up. So that's another negative with this self tanner. But Wanted to share my experience with you on this in case you were looking at Alta to try it. So I am considering this a fail mostly, but I'm still gonna use it up. But wanted to tell you about my experience with this self tanner. Okay, this is probably gonna shock a lot of you that have watched my channel for a while, but I actually have a facial sunscreen that is a mineral sunscreen that I really like. But I will tell you, it is not going to replace my holy grail, the Kiss Me Mommy UV Aqua Milk. This is still my favorite. So I did receive a trial size of this Coats, the Face Moisture Lightly Tinted SPF 35. I got this little trial size from Ulta. And I liked this so much that I went out and got the full size. Now, the reason that I got this is that it's lightly tinted. Let me show you the color for this one. I hope the camera's not gonna blow. Can you see that? It's just a really, really light tint but enough that it takes off the white cast, but not enough that it's really gonna make you look like you've got makeup on your face. Can you see it's rubbed in? It's 
you know, it matches my skin tone very well, but obviously if you've got a darker skin tone, this would probably not work for you at all. But the reason that I like this is that I got this for days that I am not wearing any makeup. When I don't wanna put anything on and I'm just staying home, I have been wearing this sunscreen because it dries down to like a nice matte finish. Now my holy grail, I would not say it's extremely glowy, but it does leave more glow on my skin if I just put this on and nothing over it. So that is what I like about this. It gives kind of a nice matte finish and it's comfortable. It doesn't feel really heavy on my skin like so many mineral sunscreens do. And also what I love about this, even though I wish it was a higher SPF than 35, it's waterproof because that is a requirement for me. Sweating, hot flashes, you name it, I need to have a waterproof sunscreen. So I've really been enjoying this. And just for kicks today, I decided to put it under makeup because I had never tried makeup over this. So I wanted to see what would happen if I put this on and then put makeup on top of it. So I have this on today and then I've got my new recent favorite, the Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Well, I will tell you, putting this underneath this foundation totally changed this foundation. I think you can probably see it is not dewy in the least on me today. I have no powder on right now. And this really just made this more of a matte foundation. I'm, it's not that I'm unhappy with it, but it definitely changed this from a dewy to just like a matte foundation, just putting this on underneath. So I'm not sure if I'll really wear this under makeup all the time because I do feel like it makes things look a lot more matte, but if that's a look you're going for, you might like this a lot. I do like having a choice of sunscreens and this seems to be a really good one for days that I don't wanna wear makeup. So I have been enjoying this Coats Face Moisture, the lightly tinted SPF. All right, since we, and I'm looking down here and I still have a few more SPF products to share with you, I guess I have been focusing on that, which is probably not a bad thing right? All right, so this is a new favorite, and this is the Aveeno, the Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen, All Day Hydration, and this is an SPF of 60. And I got this off of Amazon, and it's a bigger container. It's 12 ounces, and I think this costs like $23. And what I was really hoping for this to do for me is that to make it easier for me to remember to apply SPF, every day in the summer. I have to tell you, I'm really bad about from my neck down putting SPF on every day. Yes, I wear SPF when I'm out by the pool or if I go to the lake or that type of thing, I've got it on. But we all know that sun exposure just every day that racks up and really can age your skin and skin cancer, obviously. So this summer, I was trying to really be better about that. And I thought if I have this in my bathroom, in the pump, it's a bigger container, and just put it on after I get out of the shower, that that would help me kind of wear SPF every day. And it really is doing that. It's a really nice, ooh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I have got sunscreen all on my ring light. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but anyways, it's a really nice formulation. It goes on, it sinks right in. It's very hydrating because I've got really dry skin. It does have kind of a sunscreen smell, nothing like tropical or anything like that, and it does dissipate really quickly, but it definitely has that like sunscreen smell. It's waterproof too. So I really, oh my gosh, sunscreen is everywhere. <laughs> But I'm really liking this, and I think it's helping me to wear sunscreen every day just because it's in the pump form. I've got it right in my bathroom. So I have really been enjoying the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate. The next product I have to show you is another SPF product, but this is a fail. And this is the Ulta Beauty, the Facial Setting Spray. This is what it's supposed to be water resistant. It's an SPF 50. And you are supposed to be able to spray this right over your makeup where it's not supposed to disturb your makeup and it's supposed to obviously give you SPF. So I thought this would be a great thing during the day if I could just mist this over my face and get more sun protection, but if it didn't like separate my makeup, I thought this would be a great product. 
Well, when I tried this for the first time and I spritzed this over my face, holy moly does this sting your eyes. Oh my goodness, horrible. I had to take my contacts out, my eyes were watering and stinging and it was not pleasant at all. And then on top of that, it made me look like there was an oil slick on my face. This stuff does not, it's not discreet little sunscreen. This, it looks like you have full on like baby oil on your face. That's at least the way it looked on mine. It did not really work well with my makeup. Let me see if I can show you kind of how glowy this is. And also this pump is not the best. All right, so I don't know if it's gonna show how shiny it is on my arm. I don't know if you can see right here but it's really a really shiny finish. You know me, I like a little bit of dewy look on my face, especially in the summertime, but this was just full on like, you know, oil slick on my face. It was not attractive. So the fact that it stung my eyes and it made me look like I had an oil slick on my face, this is definitely not gonna be something I would recommend to anyone. Now, because I don't wanna waste it, I've just been using it up on other places just for a sunscreen on my chest or on my shoulders, that type of thing until I use it up, but I would, I'm never going to spray this on my face again. So the Ulta Beauty, the facial setting spray, SPF 50, that was a big fail for me. All right, we will go on with another fail. And this is a little sample size that I received from Ulta in a recent order too, and I'm so glad that I did not purchase the full size of this. This is the Maylee's B-Flat, the Firming Belly Cream. Now, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could rub a cream onto our bellies and make them look tight and taunt and just better? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a pipe dream, but I was hoping this would be the one. Well, I can't even tell you really if this works or not because I applied this onto my stomach and oh my goodness, this burns. I'm not talking like a little tingle or a little like heat sensation. This, it full out burns. It, it hurts. It literally hurts. And then it started itching. So... <laughs> you think that I would have jumped right in the shower and washed it off because I was really uncomfortable. But no, being me, I thought, oh my goodness, this probably means it's working. My stomach's probably gonna look amazing after this. So I toughed this out for like an hour in pain. <laughs> and then I finally couldn't take it anymore and I did jump into the shower to try to rub, you know, scrub it off. But I think at that point, most of it had been like sinking into my skin so it was still a half hour of burning after that. So, oh my goodness, I think I have a pretty high threshold for pain too, but this was uncomfortable. So then after I tried this, I got online to Ulta to see, to read other people's reviews and it was kind of split where there were women that swore by this that it made their stomach look tight and taunt and stretch marks were faded, that type of thing. And then there were women like me that said, run away from this, do not put this on your skin, it hurts. So I don't know, I maybe it works for some people and other people it just is really painful. I fall into the painful category, unfortunately. So I will never know if this works. And obviously though, I mean, what are the chances that rubbing something on your stomach is really gonna make it look that much better? But <laughs> you know me, I wanna try. But I, this, I can't recommend this. Maybe you'd be one of the people that it really works for and it doesn't hurt, but I would hate to recommend this and have you feel the pain that I felt with this Maylee's the B-flat, the firming belly cream. This was a definite fail. All right, I've got another favorite, and this is a night cream that I've been using recently that I really like, and I think it's gonna be a great one for summer for me. It is the Cetaphil, the Healthy Radiance, the Renewing Cream, and it's called the Gentle Bright Complex with Niacinamide and Bacuchio. And I was just looking for a lighter but still moisturizing night cream because you all know I've got really dry skin 
and what works for me in the winter I don't need so much now that it's gotten a little bit warmer out but what I like about this is that this might be even too thick of a cream for a lot of you even in the summertime or it might be a good winter one for some of you because this is a really thick and emollient cream so I have just been using this really as the last step in my nighttime skincare. I just rub this on and I find it really moisturizing, but yet it's a little bit lighter for me than my CeraVe and my ordinary Squalane oil combination that I used all winter. So I've really been enjoying this night cream. And like I said, some of you it still might be a little too thick for summertime, but if you've got dry skin like I do, and you were looking for a drugstore night cream, I think this was under $20, so not a terrible price. So I, I really like this one. I think it's a good one. So it once again, it's the Cetaphil, the Healthy Radiance Night Cream. All right, I've got a favorite powder to share with you that I've really been loving, and this is the NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder, and I got the translucent, just the plain, the white one. Let me show you. So this powder, first of all, is so finely milled. And I mean, it looks white, but it's one of those ones that it blends right into your skin. It really doesn't look like anything on once you've rubbed it in. But what I like about this so much is that this is just a mattifying setting powder without trying to do a bunch of other things. Like that's what I was looking for. I like to wear some powder mostly in my T-zone just to take down the shine a little bit and to set my makeup. That's what this does. It doesn't claim to be like erasing your wrinkles or filters or that type of thing. It's really just a mattifying setting powder. So if that's what you're looking for like I was, I really like this NYX one. Obviously, it's a great price point. I, I just think it does a great job without, you know, all the bells and whistles maybe of some of the other powders out there. So really liking this NYX powder, I would definitely recommend this one. Okay, friends, the last thing I'm going to share with you is a favorite, and it is a Trader Joe's cracker that I have just been obsessed with. And I do feel bad sharing these Trader Joe's products with you because I realize some of you do not live close to Trader Joe's, but for those of you that do and you're looking for a crunchy snack, check these rice crackers out. So they are the Savory Thin Mini Rice Crackers with Mari Soy Sauce. These are also gluten-free if you cannot have gluten, but they are just a little thin rice cracker. And they've got that great like soy flavor, but light. It's not like overpowering, but it just gives you that nice salty flavor if you like soy. What is it? 36 of these little crackers are 120 calories. So that's a pretty good serving size and they are crunchy and they are delicious. And like I said, I have been obsessed with them. <laughs> so that's why I can't even show you like a nice full bag because I've just been eating these like crazy. So if you were looking for a snack that's just crunchy and salty and delicious and kind of low in calories, check these out the next time you're at Trader Joe's. I have been loving these. Okay, friends, well, that is it. I'm going to wrap up today's video, but before I do, I want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope you know how much I appreciate it. I truly do, and I will see you all next time. Bye.